There we go. Yes, hello again, friends. Welcome back to twitch.tv slash trooperberry, and welcome back to the Long Dark. Where our revival of our Loper run continues. So, I gave it some thought overnight, and I do think... I, I, I talked about, during yesterday's stream, maybe taking this character to the far territory. Maybe not necessarily uh, the, the new zone, the mine, the zone of contamination. But at the very least, we could you know, take her to the airfield and then get the little, little handheld thing, unit, transponder, I forget. But we could do that, start you know, uh, buried echoes, and then just have that to keep us busy. But if we're going to do that, we need to be prepared, because the airfield is famously cold. And we're already cold, walking around as we are, and that's with, you know, some pretty high-level clothing. So, we need to, if not a bear coat, we should look into making... Uh, maybe a, a second wolfskin coat. And also repairing up the, uh, the, the clothing we already have. Hey, remind myself, how many... How are we for firewood? 24 sticks. Okay. There. 25, and we're leaving it at that. So yeah, we're gonna. Uh, what we're gonna do? Uh, we do still have a bear hide curing back in uh, back in Coastal Highway. And I think when we left it, it was I think 50% cured. So there's probably about I think six days to go. So what we'll do? We 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 were initially gonna come back to Mystery Lake to grab some repair materials, and we will do that. But we also, I think it might also be wise to maybe head back to the Muskeg and even just like forge a few more arrowheads. I think, well, I'll check when we get into the dam because we are, we are very cold. But I'd like to, if we have our hacksaw on us, we just grab some, uh, grab some scrap metal and then even if we make I know three four more so we can, we can, if we so we go into the airfield with upgraded clothing and say 10 to 12 arrows oh, so cold. cuz that is a very big zone and if perchance we shoot something and it runs off, there's a very real chance we could never see it again. <laughs> Much like the bear we encountered and then we uh, plugged with a rifle shot during our most recent visit to the airfield. It just ran off in you know some some far corner of the zone and we just never saw it. That was a a whole bunch of meat and a hide and guts that we just we never got never got access to. Okay, we have one deer. We got oh we got a whole mess of birch and maple. Lovely. Oh yeah. Now that I think of it, we could also make ourselves a, a fresh bow, but we don't have to rush that. Because ours is... Okay, we do have the hacksaw, good. Our bow is at 61%. Not in danger of breaking anytime soon. Okay, nothing in there. That's fine. What did we leave here? Oh, we, we, we have, well, we have a arrow shaft. And some feathers. Okay, so we did leave some stuff here. Heavy hammer, good. Better hacksaw. 
Might just leave that behind. And some tools. Okay, neat. And th three small arms handbooks, which will... Well, they're, they're going to be kindling. Oh, wow. Bunch of coffee, too. Note, I'm just going to keep that with me. No sense letting that degrade. They got, okay, lots of tiny teas, some painkillers, some more antibiotics. Good, good, good. And, okay, some firewood. Coal? I'll take one of those. And also a gunsmithing book that will be kindling at some point. Okay, um... Yeah, actually, we're, we're warming up just fine as it is. We don't even have to use our bedroll. There we go. Okay, so... All right, let me... Do we have... Okay, that was a memento hint. That's a memento hint. Right, right, right. That's... Oh, okay, that's... Wait, that's Timberwolf Mountain. Why, why, why would we pull up Timberwolf Mountain when we're in Mystery Lake? That's weird. Okay, we got the... Meant a cache by the climbing point, and then okay, the, that, yeah, that, that memento hint. That's the one. That's the cave that goes to, uh, to Milton, and then oh right, 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 right. Yeah, and then this this is the cache that's up yeah up by the Overlook Hotel. Yeah, I think the does the other one. I think yeah, I think the the other one no 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 it wouldn't yeah because the the cache that's in the back of the dam has MREs and MREs don't spawn on Loper so naturally that memento cache or the the, the cache and the key for it wouldn't spawn on Loper okay. So we got plenty of crafting materials there. We have to bring over some guts. If you want to make a bow over there. God, look at that. Minus 32 air temperature, minus 17 wind chill. Yeah. Torch isn't staying lit out here. Okay, so let's let's make for the camp office. I do want to swing by the little mini birch forest here and see if there's any fresh birch laying around. No sign of the moose, which honestly is fine. And no sign of scooter, which is also fine. Hey, here we go. Steady on, Astrid. Steady on. Okay, never mind. That's a blizzard. Jesus, it's cold. And that that set in quick. Good grief. Just dip in here real quick. Calm down, Astrid. Everything's fine. Okay. Yeah, have been here. Have searched this. Did we search it well? 
It does appear so. Okay. Well, all right, so not a whole lot for us to do out here. So maybe in preparation, we can, yeah, let's just, yeah, well, let us warm up. And then we'll, we'll dash across the tracks, we'll get into the dam, and then we'll use this time, maybe we'll prep some, yeah, we'll prep some uh, arrow shafts, and we'll get a little scrap metal. Door, thank you. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Okay. Put that away. You see, we have... We have one arrow shaft in there. How are we for feathers? Uh, seven. We get eight on us. Okay, so we actually have five, arrow, five arrows worth of feathers. So, if we were to grab... Yeah, six pieces of scrap metal. We should be fine. Okay, three hours for eight. That's... Is that a good return? I don't know. How about... How about the hand cart? Hour and a half for four. Okay, I'll take that. Can't tell if the it's still going or not. Let's check. Sounds windy, but is it blizzard windy? Nope, that's blizzard. Okay. Okay, we have just the one deer hide, no guts, ton of saplings. Um, yeah, we're already carcass harvesting five, so that won't do much for us. I think we read, yeah, we read that. Um, same with the small arms handbooks. Yeah, I think scrap metal wise, we're good. And honestly, we, yeah, we, we probably part with one. And we can move those in there, because we don't... No, I'll, I'll keep those on me. So we'll have a spare arrowhead, but that's fine. Because it, it's it's two, yeah, two arrowheads per piece of scrap metal at the forge. Okay, oh, did, okay, is that, is that it letting up? It's hard to tell over the music, but I think so. There, let me grab two. Tell you what we can do. If, if we are in fact good. See, so we can run off to Camp HQ like we were intending to. Yep, there we go, okay. <laughs> it, it it's two down arrows as opposed to three, but it's not that much better. Uh, 
okay, we, we need to watch out for Scooter because it will it'll come up right on us. And a torch isn't going to stay lit, so we got to we got to make it count. Hey, Vi, good to see you. How's your Sunday so far? And uh, how, how was uh, how was your latest crack at Among Trees? Was it uh, was it more zen like you were hoping? I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, that went fine. So yeah, we should. I think we'll probably have. If, if the spawns are what I think they are, by the derailment, we'll have a couple wolves to deal with. So far, so good. Good to hear. And it was, yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Among Trees did look like it was, it was a game you could just kind of chill out and then and just enjoy and just, I guess, vibe, as, as the young people say, but... There is still, you do still have to say, like, fed and warm. And there's also that bear. And the bear seems dedicated to, I guess, ruining your vibes. Ton of gather resources. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Being cold, because I really do. Don't think you ever mentioned it, Astrid. Can't imagine why. Oh, there's no bear on Zen mode. Ah, okay. I guess I, I, I'd never seen anyone play on Zen mode, so I guess I... Yeah, that, that, that is uh, news to me, but appreciate that vibe. Yeah, well, good. Then you really can just kind of hang out and do your thing. And that's cool. I, 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 okay, I don't always have very nice things to say about the uh, the devs, but that is a that, that is a that is a good thing. That they they have that mode in there for people who just want to soak in the world. Okay, well there's two of them, but the wind has let up some, so we probably can get away with this. It's so cold. I'm gonna go think. Oh, this, this won't be the longest lived torch in the world. Are those? Okay, no, oh, nope, there's three. And doesn't look like there's a, a reliable way around them, so we're just going to have to go through. Really? You're the one who aggro's on us. Okay. Yes, please, one at a time, like the mall ninjas you are. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. Astrid, come on, you just picked up a torch. It's a third of a kilogram. Work with me, girl. I'm trying to keep you alive here. Okay, I can't, we can't do much with that. At least not yet. Uh, you just opened the sewing room. Now to gather resources to make a bigger backpack and a better jacket. Yeah, my, 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 my memory is that the, uh, the, like the inventory early game is quite small. So the, uh, the, the uh, resource runs do have to be pretty frequent. Yeah, the crafting room 
cooking room and sewing room. Okay. Clothing, food, tools. Good calls all. You look like the greenhouse in the brewer the brewery. Wow. Also, hey B, welcome in. Good to see ya. How is Sunday going so far? Early for you, no doubt. Yeah, sun is going down. Let's get Astrid indoors. Next, we'll have another episode of which run am I remembering? Am I remembering the Stalker run with meat waiting outside Camp HQ? Or is it the Loper run where there is a whole lot of nothing? Also, no ptarmigans. Boo. Boo, I say. Never mind. Me. Oh, I don't. I don't have archery four or archery five. Gosh darn it. Oh, have that. Don't run. Don't run. It ran. <laughs> yeah, th thank you. That was uh that that was about fifteen percent skill and eighty five percent guesswork. Okay, yeah, there's there is no food waiting outside here. Well heck. Got some backup clothes. That's nice. We have a birch sapling. And, well, not a whole lot else. Oh, right. Before we, before we move on, let me make sure B gets a proper welcome. What is left of the math eco? I want to scroll out. I'm hoping, let's do one more room. I'm hoping I don't have to backtrack all that and do that one room. I shouldn't have to. Uh, go back to the way you were. And there's gonna be a fight. And they're all- Nice little ready. darkest dungeon clip there. Okay. Yeah, my pleasure, B. And, and I do enjoy seeing you so, play like darkest dungeon. The courtyard and I <laughs> Okay, nothing there. Got some cooking oil. Yeah. Oh, is that? Hey, a floor potato. Nice. Another floor potato. Wait, flour? Salt? Oh, hey. Have we not been back here since the cooking yard. update? I so guess not. That's not the room. Where the hell no, is No, no, no. Uh, okay, okay. We got we got two floor potatoes, flour, salt, and cooking oil. Well, that there's certainly some bannock in our future then. Yeah, absolutely, Vi. My pleasure. Let the clip because you get mad at first, and then you start laughing. Yeah, that that that's good. That's a that's a healthy reaction, I think. Okay, no Carl Bob. Fine. Okay, what do we leave behind here? Cattail heads and some antiseptic. Well, don't know. Okay, oh, there. Okay, there's our rabbit pelts, and there's our cured guts. Hey, nice. Actually, let me go. Let me grab that skillet from down there. We'll just bring that upstairs. And we can uh, go to town. Oh, 
Oh, hey. Well, okay. I think can we make food ahead of time for our our trip to the far territory? But maybe, I mean, maybe we should survive or focus on, you know, staying alive until the the bear hide cures. Maybe that would be a good plan. The hypnotist is a good time. Okay. Oh, is that is that kind of like on the uh, on in the same vein as kind of phasmophobia, mortuary assistant games like that? Okay, what do we have? We have okay, we have a, a little water. We have some ruined pot. All oh, right, we can't yeah we can't use ruined potatoes in recipes, but we can cook them. Yeah, this is a this is the issue Z uh, Zert was having. That he was he was trying to make all the uh, trying to make all the recipes on Loper, but unfortunately, uh, all those potatoes were ruined. So and you can't you you can you can make bake potatoes out of them, but you can't use them in recipes. So here's a unfortunately, I think he's kind of locked out. Now there, there's no achievement for making all the recipes. It's just it's just fun to do. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? We'll we'll get them made, we'll get them out of our inventory, and we'll get them into Astrid. Uh, Demonol is scarier than Phasmo to you? Okay. And Mortuary Assistant is a definite no. Yeah, I, I've seen some people play that. And, and you know, I've, people who went through Alien Isolation and had a good time, and Mortuary Assistant was just a, a hard no for them. Okay, got 12 minutes. We got 12 minutes. That should be fine. We will take the potat and we shall dine. And again. They'll dry Astrid out, which we don't love because we don't have a ton of water on us, but. Let's have you make a bunch of water. Matter of fact, I'll have, I'll have you make water too. Because if we're going to make like Bannock and such, you're, we're, we're going we're gonna to need water on us as well. And 0.4 liters, not going to cut it. Uh, does any other place have two places to cook like here? Um, In Mystery Lake? Or just, well, not in general, obviously, you know that. Um, I think the, uh, okay, the fire barrel that's in the dam, that has two cooking spots. Um, and then the uh, the stove in Trappers. Has two. <laughs> and then I guess any, any, uh, any fireplace you would make, or any uh, campfire you would make would, but. I think that's about it. Oh, no, no, um, the, uh, the, okay, there, they, that, that, uh, burned out house, um, between camp office and trappers, um, there's a two burner stove in there, too. Um, Yeah, it's, uh, is there, oh yeah, and then the stove in the, uh, what is it, in the, uh, the intact observation tower, or the lookout tower, that has two burners as well. So yeah, there's some. Actually, let me check this real quick. Okay, for broth, we, okay, we need a liter and a half of water. And salt we have, and we have just enough ptarmigan. But, okay, but question, why would we make 
broth. I mean, we, we could make ptarmigan pie. We can make uh, we can make two. We're just short of three. Now we would smell, but we can deal with that. Anything on oh the stove downstairs and the one you're using upstairs. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the uh, yeah trappers has one of these. The 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 lookout has one of these. And then the uh, the uh, was it the deadfall area? We got there. We go termigan pie. Hey, let's okay. We need we got an hour and twelve. This is going to take 56 minutes. Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay, you said. Oh, oh, oh. So not 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 like two burners, but like you know, like two two places in in the same location. Okay, okay, okay. I, now I see what you're saying. Bye. 43, 48. Okay, we can... okay uh, so just, yeah, two places in the same location. Okay, um, yeah, Grey Mothers. Oh, and the, uh, the Broken Railroad Hunting Lodge. It has a fireplace and a six burner stove. Uh, let's see, Forlorn Musk Egg, no. Can cannery? No, not the cannery. Yeah, Milton Grey Mothers. Um, nowhere in the, uh, nowhere in HRV, obviously. Yeah, not Ash Canyon, not Timberwolf. PV, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, the bingo hall. The bingo hall has the six burner stove and then the fireplace in the uh, in the big room. Now we'll leave that. We'll make one more set of pies. Do 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 we have prepared birch bark? We do. We have two. I will make those. So yeah, yeah, so here, Grey Mothers, Hunting Lodge, Bingo Hall. Eh. Anywhere in the far territory? Um No, not not the not the uh, not the hangar, because you, you got the you got the the forge downstairs, but nowhere nowhere officially upstairs. Actually, no, nowhere at all. So yeah, I think it's just those four or five places. Okay, and then another round of ptarmigan pie. Okay, that needs... Okay, take that. That needs 44 minutes. We got a half hour here. There we go. So what else can we do with you? Oh, well, yeah, let's go ahead and cook up the rest of this ptarmigan. Oh, wait, are we smelling now? Oh, right, because we got the ptarmigan carcass. Yes, 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 okay. Yeah, not a lot left, but we can make, we can, we can work with that. Um... Yeah. Not, oh, yeah. We did. We did. We don't have oats. Otherwise, porridge would be the obvious play. Actually, no. Hang on. We, we, that doesn't matter. We can just use our own. And let's make. Yeah. Let's make some bannock. Do you want rose hip pie? Uh, 
You know what? Sure. The DLC is going to be the last zone you go to. I mean, understandable. Very understandable. Okay, we'll grab that. I swear I can carry much more. Make one more rose hip pie. Oh yeah, no, we should probably put the put extra fuel on there first. That way the fire doesn't go out while we're doing the prep work. Okay, we need another fifteen minutes. Okay, that'll do. We will need to get some more fuel while we're out there. Well, yeah, thanks. Thank you, Vi. But yeah, that's that. That's mostly the result of having made that same mistake in the past and uh, losing losing cooking progress or having to waste another match for doing so. Okay, that'll be fine. Um, what I'm going to do, because Aster's not even remotely tired, we'll wait until we're all done here, and then we'll... Is that done? That is done. Yeah, 5 of 5. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll finish this. Let me grab that. She still needs something to eat, so let's make some bannock. There we go. And then once we're through with all the fire and the cooking, and Astrid is nice and topped up, we'll <coughs> excuse me, uh, we'll have her spend the rest of her energy plucking the ptarmigan. Now, unfortunately, one alone isn't going to be enough to make it down uh, either the yeah, the bedroll or even just the improvised insulation, but it'll be a start. Oh, right. We don't have we don't have the moose the moose hide satchel. Well, bother. Okay, twenty-eight. Okay, Bannock is there. Um, yeah. All right, we got that set. Can we make more? Um, yeah, we can make one more. Let's make one more. Okay, 23, 24, perfect. And we got 15, I mean... Okay, make me a half liter of water. Eleven, nine, perfect. Okay, yeah, that's my skillet, and we'll put that pot back there. Don't need, don't need to make torches. We got plenty. Take that. We'll just drink that straight off the skillet, and Astrid won't lose the roof of her mouth because you know reasons. Is he, is he, is he, look, look, look how fast that food loses condition. Oh, 
Okay, six six uh, piles of flatbread. The uh, the dinner of champions, right? And honestly, we can just drop this because don't have much need of it for now. Unless we're gonna come back and make a stew of some kind. Yeah, we got the bed right there. So it's gonna take two hours with the knife, or an hour and fifty. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just use. Is it the same calories? Yeah, the same calorie count. Actually, same time. Okay, well, then we'll just, we'll just use our hands. And mercifully, we, uh, we won't see what's happening. Okay. And according to the game, we're no longer smelly. But we know that's not true. Because the uh, those ptarmigan pies will give off a scent. So, and we miss an Aurora. Oh, well. Okay, so, yeah, let me move, we'll move the cooking stuff over here. Um, let's also leave behind the oil, the salt, uh, the rose hip pies will come with us. I think we might eat it. Yeah, we'll eat a ptarmigan pie before we head out. So we're going to take the, the... Actually, let me grab these. So I remember them. We'll, we'll leave them downstairs. Where they are nice and highly visible. What? Oh, right. Yeah, we we're going to... Yeah, I was going to uh, make some more arrows if we, if we had the opportunity. So why don't we? No, here's, here's what... No, dang it. Okay. Let me check the journal. Okay, uh, let's see. Marsh Ridge. But we, we must have forged. Oh, do I need do I need to go back to the dam to get the heavy hammer? So we can go forge in uh, Forlorn Muskeg. I feel like I would have made mention of that. Okay, let me... Let me grab those. Here's what we'll do. Yeah, before we head out... Okay, we have one more on us, and it doesn't look, I don't think it's gathering us any attention. You know the heavier? Okay, um, because I know we, we, the line, yeah, there was, yeah, there was one. We left the heavy hammer. Yeah, there's a heavy hammer at the HRV Lake Cave. Um, I think the the Monolith Lake Cave. And yeah, there's one at Mountaineers. And and there's one in the, yeah in the, in the Hermit's Hut. Um. Oh. Oh. There's one at Trappers. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're still good. So, minor detour. Right. 
So if, if there's one at trappers, that's easy. So we, we, we run to trappers, grab the hammer, then we go to the musk egg, we forge up, and then we turn back around, we come back here, we grab our stuff, go to the dam if we need to, and then on the way back we also stop by that ravine cave to grab the other rabbit and deer hides. And then, then we make the rest of our trip back to Coastal, and hopefully the, the bear skin will have cured by then. Or a four hammer. Yeah, it's been... I mean, we, we've had some rough spots, but we've also... I mean, we, we found more... Uh... I mean, we found hammers in kind of some out-of-the-way places. Obviously, you know, there, there's the guaranteed one in HRV. But, like, the, uh, we found one in the Hermit's Hut, which I don't think I've ever done before. Um, I think we found one in Broken Railroad. And I don't remember the rest. And we? Nope. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any smelly pies on us. If we don't have to engage this wolf, I'd rather not. Oh, ATX. Good to see you. How's Sunday going for you? You want to guarantee by... Well, it's, I mean, we were saying that the... Well, the, the reason I said guarantee is because, to, to the best of my knowledge, the... The hammer that's at the signal fire in HRV is the only guaranteed one. I can't remember if it's Loper or just in general. I can't feel my feet. Now, I, I'm almost certain on Loper that's the only guaranteed one. Way too fast with Sunday could last longer. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, it was a working Sunday for me, but do I, do yeah, they do. They do tend to thunder on past, don't they? Okay, we need to check. We did. Okay, that's fine. Moving on. You gonna make food vibe? No worries. Appreciate the lurk. Now the the food making goes. Spectacularly. I, oh, I, I do note we actually have a little a little blue section of our health bar. It's been a long time since we've been able to see that. And given the, given the state of the world, it is now leaving us uh, with something of a quickness. Okay, uh, do we... Well, here, let me grab some more firewood. And then maybe we'll, we'll poke our head over the ridge. And then we'll, we'll see what Max is up to. And check if the neighborhood bear has decided to grace us with its presence. Okay, loose piece of birch bark. All in favor of that. Oh, another one. Lovely. Okay. That is another birch bark tea. Now, my, my memory is that there's, there's a... There's a wolf waiting right over there, but then again, again, this could be my memories from the stalker run bleeding over 
into this one, where uh, the, the world is just a little different. More birch bark? Let me twist my arm. Okay, let's 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 get over here. Try to minimize the number of blind hills we go over. Okay, yep, the okay we got we have visual on the bear. Are you sir? Are you thank you. That was uh, something of a delayed reaction. Cody's for you. Yeah, thank you, Roller. We're, we will be doing that soon. Ish. Okay, well, rip that arrow. But first, we need to get our hands on a hammer. I believe we should have one waiting for us at Trapper's. Checking for moose. Uh, no moose. Little bitty moose, otherwise known as deer, but no actual moose. Oh well. But welcome in, Roller. Hope Sunday is treating you well. Three, three deer. Including a couple bucks who tend to be bigger, but I just we're not we're not here to hang about. You know we're the idea was just to come get the hammer and go. So naturally, I take the long way around and stay in the cold even longer. I, but I guess I, I, maybe maybe it's just fatalism or playing poorly or I don't know. But it, I feel like we're. I, I, I'm just. I am operating as though cold is just a fact of life. And the best thing we can do is just power through. I've got... Prepared for anything. Okay, we've got more, more stuff curing. Let me... We'll just refuel that real quick, and then we'll drop the jerry can again. And we do have a, we do have a little lantern oil on us. That's fine. Okay, empty... We got a little water. That's nice. I'll take that. We'll leave that. Okay. Well, okay. Speaking of, my notes told me there were a hammer. To, there was a hammer to find here. So, uh, donde esta el hammer? Hmm. Nope, that's empty. I okay. My my notes might not be entirely up to date. I'm not pleased by this. Okay. Well, that is obviously a lie. So now the question is, did we take it to the dam where there is a hammer? Or...
or did we take it to to uh, Spence's? The, there's, yeah, no mention of it. Yeah, no, no mention of Spence's in our notes here, which does make me concerned. Okay, well, what kind of tea? What's our tea situation? We got, okay, we got one full size rose hip, some birch, and we got a burdock. Question is, do we, do we burn match, do we burn a match or some fire striker condition to warm those up? We, we, because we don't have a, we don't have a therm, a thermal flask. We, the, this, the, uh, until yesterday, I hadn't touched this file since July. So, uh, the stuff that came in the December update, we're, uh, we don't actually have any of that. Okay, let's, okay, let's, uh, okay, the sure thing, go back to the dam. I feel like it, being at Trappers, we're about midway between Spence's, if you, if you take into account having to go either across the ice or around, versus going back to the dam and getting the sure thing. All right, it's fine. Just let's let's gotta remember this is interloper. Things can get out of hand quickly. Let's just well play as intelligently as we can. How much that is, you know, we'll we'll leave that up for debate. But we'll okay. The wind isn't terrible, but it does feel like the conditions are getting worse somewhat quickly. Okay. No, we'll we'll play it. We'll play it smart. We'll just go back to the. Okay. No, there's a blizzard coming. There has to be a blizzard coming. Right. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. It is getting colder. when there's when is there not a blizzard coming I mean that's that's not a bad call TX it's just I don't want to be setting out from shelter at a time when there's when a, a blizzard is just about to set in It is also quite, well, it's late in the day, but Astrid has barely expended any energy. Cold is making my head feel sick. God dang it. Alright, let's just, okay, no. I say, let's just do something. So here's, here's what we'll do. Okay, we'll go back inside. We'll warm up Astrid again. If we come out and there's a blizzard, we're stuck here. 
If not, we go. I've never felt so cold in my life. That's a lie, and you know it. Okay, see? See? I just... It... I just felt it for all... Felt for all the world like that was happening. Okay. Well, hey, we do have... We have yeah, we have an arrowhead on us. And an arrow shaft. We, yeah, we can actually be making fresh arrow right now. Take an hour and a half to do it by hand, but... <laughs> we got time. Which reminds me, where are we on archery? Archery, like, four and a third. Okay, yeah, we might as well. go. I see. Anything else? Yeah, we, we don't have guts, so we can't repair. Yeah, all, all the guts are... Yeah, the, the guts are either in the ravine or at uh, Camp HQ. So, nothing doing there. Don't like passing time, but we don't. And not a whole lot else we can do with ourselves just now. At, at least until the storm passes. Yeah, we don't have a. T we don't have. A, we, don't have a, we don't have a tool kit, so we can't repair the hacksaw. Um, we could, we could tune these up. There's a little, a little preventative maintenance. Oh, hush. Okay. Yeah, it does not sound like it's getting any better out there. But we'll check. Hey, Zert. Welcome in. Good to see you. How's your Sunday? Yep, still going. We might, as well, yeah, might as well use the time as best we can. There we go. And we have we have three cloth. I can salvage one there. Cold. Oh, that's that's too bad. It goes from sixty to twenty in days. Wow, that is a that is a pretty severe shift. Okay, good, good, good. Where's a bed? There's a bed, okay. But you are... You're, you're staying warm, I hope. Because that is, uh... Yeah, I guess that is... That is, that is uh, kind of springtime... Well, I, I, say, I say springtime weather. It's still only February. Okay, are we good? The 
lack of sound suggests we're good. Oh, hey, Vi, welcome back. Okay. Okay, condition is definitely not ideal. But you know what? I think we're just... We just gotta move. Because we, we can't hang out here. Bag cream of wheat, yogurt, juice, and coffee. Nice. Good way to start the day. But yes, it'd be yeah. The, the combination of blizzard and fog, annoying as it is here, it would have been it would have been probably just ruinous had we actually been in Forlorn Muskeg when it hit. Wow, all the way over there, huh? No. I say the nay. Okay, now I guess there is some risk to doing this in that I think, you know. Also, hey, Max. How's the family? I mean, I think there have been instances where wolves have been kept at this distance and they just suddenly charge. So. Well, we can kind of walk the dog a bit. We can't. We can't just like totally tune out, and assume it's always going to stay there. But if we if we don't have to engage, then maybe let's just let's just keep moving. Because like stopping and then doing the whole stare down and shooting is going to take time, and we 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 we, we keep getting cold. Yes, yes, I know. Your dad's like a, a, a picky toddler. Most food tastes like, or so you can you, you know, like, well, it's. But see, that so it's not. Yes, yeah, so, so you have a you have a reason for, you know, have for embracing the diet you are versus toddler just doing toddler things. So no, I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I mean, not, not not that you are, but I say that no, there's no there's no uh, it's a good job. no shame in that. Because it it, it 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 as you say, if that's what you can tolerate, then that's what you go with. Because otherwise, you're you're stuck eating food you can't tolerate, and what what good is that? You got to keep up your strength. Is that? Oh, look! There is the... There's a little doggo we uh, plunked from a distance earlier today. Ran all the way out here. True, which means anyone... What's good? Well, I mean, yeah, that... Understandable. That's... It's a... Uh, Restricted diet takes a lot of getting used to, but again, it's and it, it's and but then you know at, at least I don't know for sure, but I as I understand it, like once once the uh, the the treatments are done, I think your your I think your your taste should reset. Have have the, have the doctors mentioned that to you? I I feel like that's so, that's probably something they would make clear to people. Like it, it won't it won't always be like this but again not not being a doctor myself I might just be talking out of my hat
Oh, it spooked. Oh, did it spook because that one's still aggroed on us? Well, isn't that handy? Ooh, you know, it'd be extra handy is if we get back to camp office and the ptarmigans are back, we can go, we can go that doggo into chasing some of them down, and then we plunk the doggo. Last game was April fifth. That it just come back to that. Nice. Okay, so and that, that that's not even that far away. You know, something more to look forward to other than, than just being done with chemo. You know, as, as if you needed more. Okay, are the box box? Where are the box box? Aha! The box box are here. So I'm going to come this way. Now I'm going to put the box box between me and the doggo. Dang it. There we go. Thank you for your service. Okay, um, shoot. My God, it's, it's, yeah, it, it's calm. It's, it's as calm as it's going to get here. So how about... We just do this right now. Because there, there, there's no protection to be had here. We also have 40 sticks on us. We should probably do something about that. Damn little fire. Your birthday is May 13th of awesome meal for birthday. Hey, there you go. Let's like what what uh ideally what would you what would you have in store for a meal like that, Vi? Okay, we need... Oh, okay, no, we, we are going to need way more. See, seven, six. Okay, great, but... And that's saying a lot because you love horses? Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, oh, only, only a, a little, a little doggo. Just three kilograms. Let me just do that all in one go then. Okay, that's full. And that's a full, good. And we drought the others, make sure there's no unwanted attention. Damn, I'm freezing. Dang it, I want I want my screenshot, but I don't have I don't have the vertical. Alright, well, we'll just have to deal. Alas. You vote Longhorn? Oh, it's a Longhorn Steakhouse or Olive Garden. And Zert votes Longhorn, a good medium rare steak. Yeah, I, I've never been the biggest on steak, but again, it's but again, that, that's just me. So cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there we go. And then drop that. Oh, we, yeah, we are, we are barely warm. I mean, it makes sense. It's the middle of the night, and we're out in the open. Uh, see, all of our, okay. I, 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 I'll say, I, I am, I know a little bit about what Olive Garden offers. I was, I, I'm not familiar with Longhorn Steakhouse. I mean, I assume they do steak. And they probably do it rather well. But I can't, I couldn't tell you anything about, I couldn't give you any specifics beyond that. Uh, you love the free bread longhorn, love the Wild West Shrimp Appetizer. Okay. Okay, where's the other one? There we go. It's only point three, so that'll cook quick. And where's the ptarmigan? Ptarmigan right over there. I would drink almost anything about now. I'm about to drink some of that meat. There. Well, okay, hang on. Well, okay, yeah, it takes a half a kilogram of ptarmigan to make another pie. How much does broth take? Uh, a kilogram. Okay, can't do that. Yeah, so we, we could... Uh, oh, no, we need 0.2 kilograms of flour. We only have 0.1 left. Okay. And yeah, not much we can do with that. Let's go ahead and cook it up. That's got 17. That's got 15... Uh, they're excellent. Okay. Yeah, they, I don't don't know about the bread. The, the like my my heart is uh, with the uh, not the uh, the Cheddar Bay biscuits from Red Lobster. But other than that, my uh, my knowledge of the various meat options is not great. But if your boyfriend would rather you pick Longhorn, okay. Well, what what? I mean, that's that's great and all, Vi. But what would you rather pick? And I know it's it's well ahead of time. But you know, between Italian and steak, is there one you would normally opt for? Okay, so we got so we got everything off of the doggo. We got we cooked the meat and we've ate we've eaten most of the meat. Uh, oh, good. We, we have. I remind myself, what do we need for? Uh, the insulation takes five and four cloth. Okay, we can manage that. And what does the bedroll take? Well, we got we we would have to find a bedroll as well. That takes 10. Okay, so we, we, we would actually be short on that. Yeah, I, mean, I think maybe we... Maybe we just make the improvised down. Or the improvised uh, insulation. I don't think I've ever made that before. Uh, you probably think long gorns. It's been a while. I've seen a really good stick. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, is there anything else we want to do while we're out here? Other than just, like, warm up, make more water, and then just make sure nothing strange happens while we're focused. Okay, and it has suddenly got colder. Well, that's just rude. 
How much colder? Oh, it's negative zero. Just stop. Stop. There. Good grief. Uh, this is actually very handy. I, yeah, I, I, people have been saying that. Because, like, if you let like, the, uh, if the ear wrap gives one degree, half a degree, and then 20 warmth for a quarter kilogram. So, one half 20 versus two, one, none, one, and for the same weight. Yeah, so that, that's basically an extra half a degree of wind protection, a whole extra degree of warmth. No wetness, but I mean, you're not you're not expecting wetness protection from an, an accessory slot now, are you? Dang it, it did it again. And again, it's negative, <laughs> negative zero. I just... Why not to our bedroom? Oh, it, the, uh, it's a bearskin bedroom. It, it's just, it's just been wearing down over time. Just, just through use. There, no, I haven't lost, hasn't lost condition in an attack. So... We have a we have a uh, bearskin bedroll curing in coastal highway, or a bearskin or a, a bear hide rather, that we will use to repair the bearskin bedroll. But yeah, it's just we've had it for a while, and I, I, as I say, they, this um, actually you, I don't, you might not have been here, sir, but the uh, um, before yesterday we hadn't touched this file since July. So, like a lot of the a lot of the new stuff we haven't actually encountered, um, and the uh, yeah, so the, yes, and then we. I can't remember if we. Oh no, okay, I remember now. Yeah, we went. I think we 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 took down a bear in Milton, and then we went to HRV to get the the. Uh, Memento Cash bear hide, and we use those to make this bedroll. Never really use them, heard they decay quick. Ah, I mean, kind of, but not. Yeah, it, it, it is very much a trade off. You know, the. Uh... You know, the extra weight. And the decay and the need for bear for uh, for bear hides versus the the significant extra warmth. Okay, now now we're at positive zero. Awesome. Okay. And now we're at negative zero. <laughs> this, this is... This is a bugaboo, this one. Okay. But we, we have more fire, though. I'm not... I don't want to waste the fire. Are we... Okay, yeah. We're, oh, no. We're not, we're not quite... We're not... Uh... 10 kilograms over yet, so we can still sprint over there if we need to. I just, I don't, I don't want to waste it. So, no, so we, we, we won't, we won't, we won't. It'll be fine. Oh, wait. Here's what we do. We'll take some of that water, and so the, uh, the copious amounts of birch we found. We'll actually make a tea, heat it up, and drink it, so we'll get a warming up bonus. How wild. I 
Okay, so we got three of those. We got we got a couple tinies and one regular, and we got more of those if we need. Okay, that's that's probably fine. Oh wait, how many we have? You know, what, we'll make a couple cups of coffee too. We won't drink it. We'll just have it on us. There we go. Grab that. 45 minutes. Okay. Okay, and the, the, the clear night has also ended, but that's fine. Okay, negative two. So it, the, the, it, the world is still, or the, the air temperature is still getting colder, but not so much so that we can't just do that and then do that. Grab a good torch. Grab a second good torch. And we go. And we cannot sprint. Well, bother. Well, good thing you don't have to go far then, girl. And there's our little stash of Termgen pies. Uh, last decent round, you died trying to sleep in a helicopter. Oh, no. So it, it is it a... Like the weather change overnight, or is it a uh, blizzard of some sort? It was just a uh, not end up being a a good place in which to in which to sleep. Hang on, there. Yeah, the yeah the. Helicopters not necessarily the friendliest places to sleep. They 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 seem like they're but well, they, they're they're blocked from the wind, but not a apparently not much in the way of insulation there. There we go. Not a good place. Oh well, yeah yeah, live and learn. Unfortunately, that is. How this goes so much of the time. Yeah. Okay, so we're not... Yeah, we're... There, we'll do seven hours. Probably about midday when, when Ashley gets up and we can just... If we need to, we can pop a rose hip pie to get her nice and energized. Yep, actually, it's probably exactly midday. And it sounds like we woke up to a blizzard. Shocking. But let's just check and make sure. It certainly sounds that way. And that's because it is. Well, bother. Well, good thing we have something to keep us busy. In the form of plucking another ptarmigan. You are oh, trying the Wolf Wrangler Challenge now? So far, so good. Okay, um... I think... Who is it? Was it, uh... Nuka Baby? I think... I think I've seen people trying the Wolf Wrangler challenge, but like so, uh, in a nutshell, what is what is the challenge, Zert? I think well, is it just like uh, like sure killing as many as you can, or is there? I imagine, I imagine it's just. Oh, uh, kill a hundred wolves in fifty days. Wow. Okay. Let 
No fire or flares. Oh. Honestly? That sounds kind of fun. Now, 150. Like, is, is there a, a, a difficulty requirement? Because I think like, that, that sounds like tailor-made for Stalker cause with the number of wolves out there. But I guess if you wanted to max out the challenge, they would probably want to do it on Loper. Then are there are there are there enough wolf spawns on on the uh, on regular loper to do to get 150 or 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 can you do like custom? Uh, where is oh is it not? Do we not make it? Oh. Doesn't take a workbench. You can just do it anywhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let's do it then. Okay. Oh, you never thought about doing it on Stalker? Yeah, that, that would make the most sense to me, but obviously it's Stalker being fresh in my mind. I, I am biased in that way. Uh, someone did it in 36 days, thought it was Loper. Really? Wow. I, you, you probably have to be stinky the whole time and then always moving through high traffic zones. Like, like the, the, the Ash Canyon gauntlet down on the ice. Uh the maintenance yard. I mean, I, I guess it, I, it could be done, but yeah, you would have to constantly be on the move. And then even then, you, you, if, you, if it's loper, you still, you'd have to do all the usual loper stuff of, you know, getting your, getting your hacksaw and your hammer, forging, all that. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's go do the thing we said we were going to do and get that heckin' hammer. Wait, are we short an arrow? I got one, six, no, we got seven. Okay, seven total. Okay, yeah, so we, yeah, we, we, we need to make more. Because arrow thieves are going to go do their thing. See how happy we work here? We're, we're just over. We're going to be much more over when we get the hammer, but that's fine. Or that way we can be even better than fine. We... No. Leave it. If we take a ptarmigan pie now... No, eat one now. Don't just take one. Eat one. The buff will carry us there. Maybe even back. If, if, we, if we hustle. Also, hello, dear. Even if we only just shuttle the hammer from the dam back to here, it'll put us in better stead for ma making the uh, trip on the morrow, you know, when there's daylight. This is acceptable. I love that. But yeah, there, I'll have to look into that. That the challenge does sound interesting. I mean, I'll keep an eye out and see if someone's act, if someone's playing it. 
because I mean we did we did get pretty uh, pretty skilled in uh, thinning out the local wolf population in our in the achievement Astrid run, but obviously it'd be it'd be different starting us from scratch. Oh, how much buff is ptarmigan? I think the uh, the ptarmigan pie and the venison pie and the rabbit pie all give the same. Yeah, so we it's a it's a three kilogram carrying buff. It's it's unburdened. They you get uh, three hours of three extra kilograms. And it is it is very handy, especially if you're one of, one of those people who loves the idea of the trevois, but you either don't have the resources, or you just you don't think it's a good use of the materials you have. Making the uh, the uh, the venison pie, ptarmigan pie, or rabbit pie, it's 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 a, it's a you know, good good way to get those those short bursts of extra carrying capacity. Well, the downside of doing so is you will also smell. Eh? I mean, okay, but eh? Nope, oh, screw you. I'm walking away. That's right. Run away. Okay, we'll just do periodic check-ins on our, our little shadow there. Hopefully it doesn't hand us off. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Working on it, my dear. Oh yeah, uh, Zert, did you did you catch my answer before the ads rolled in? Uh if if not, is it the uh Yeah, so the the, the venison, rabbit, and ptarmigan pies, you get Oh, three guns. Okay, good, good, good. All right, yeah. Uh, it seems like the uh, the little the little display on uh, that I got via Twitch. It does seem like there's a uh, yeah, there's some delay there. So I can sometimes I think people will still be with us when they're actually they're they're caught in the ad realm. That is still untrue, Astrid. You didn't want the stink, so you avoided them. Okay, that, that's sensible. Especially with, with loper wolves that do, frankly, stupid amounts of damage. But yeah, the, uh, actually, it, it was in this run that it was... It was, uh, I got a rather forceful reminder of what you can do if you forget that. Cause I, but it wasn't a pie. It was the, uh, it was the coastal fish cakes. You still back there? Still back there. Yeah. Um, cause like, it, it, like if, if you're carrying the pies or the fish cakes and you hit tab, there's no smell meter. But I guess the, uh, the giveaway is that if you hit three, you still drop them. And this is the, so that's how that's the game, I guess, still hinting at the fact that it treats them as meat. But yeah, I had uh, I had coastal fish cakes on me while harvesting a bear in a in a lovely little protected little ridge. You know, I had a little uh, like a, a ditch basically. You know, on the on that road leaving coastal highway and going to uh, going to the ravine. And I just, you know, merely chopping away, doing my thing. 
And then, all of a sudden, uh, a wolf comes charging over the ridge and takes a big old bite out of Astrid's booty. Go. Unbeknownst to me at the time, but known to me now, uh, the, the fish cakes give off the stink of fish. And wolves like that sort of thing. Okay, oh yeah, how's our bow doing? 57%. Eh, well, it'll be enough to last us. Give hammer, please. Thank you. I'll take a couple pieces of coal, too. Just so we... We know we'll be able to forge. Because I don't... I don't remember, and I did not take notes on what, if anything, we left back at Spence's. Okay, we still have an hour of unburdened. Call it the invisible stink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it's a it's a one of those very nasty surprises the long dart likes to play on us. Uh, ooh, okay. Now, so far this is just a sunset. But if I start hearing the aurora music, we're just going to turn right the heck around. Because we do not need that nonsense in our lives. But usually, I think by, by this point, you know, the, the Aurora Chimes will have kicked in. So, mayhaps, we can make our push to get back. How's the wind? Okay, the wind is negative 19. I, I think, I can't remember what, like, Zach's exact uh, number was, but, like, if the, wind, if, if the wind chill is over, like, negative 15, it's highly unlikely you'll be able to keep a torch lit. And... And do the do the uh, the uh, the torch trick, the, you know, the the sensible thing. As opposed to what I keep doing, is just like walking about with no torch and no flare, and just brazenly welcoming wolves into your life. But we know we're going to have three doggos up here waiting for us. And I, mean, I, I would I would prefer not to have to engage, but I think given the close confines, we might not have a choice. Sure getting cold. Uh, easy, easier to shoot them, the bottle of torch. I mean... I guess for some people, yeah. I guess for if you have a, a sufficient experience with the bow, it it would save you know save time and effort and most importantly matches. But then, as as we say on 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 uh, Loper, there is also the uh, <laughs> there's a, a, some potentially severe consequences. If, for whatever reason, your shot goes awry. Th 
in that that's in, that's in addition and just even setting the wolves aside like you're walking around without a torch or a flare that's you're basically passing on a uh, two degree warmth bonus Uh, if you have half health, that's normal what you do. Okay. Well, I, I, say, I, and I will say I do not have... Uh, don't have a great deal of uh, sample size when it comes to Loper to make the call one way or the other. Okay, where... Where did all the wolves go? We left them right there. Now I'm suspicious. Did I leave anything here? I did not. Okay. Oh. Drop any of this fear. Okay. Oh no, that's a, that. No, I thought I saw one. Turns out that's a rock. Okay, well, I guess we'll just... There, let me grab that. No need to be littering. Okay, see, we didn't... Where, where would they have gone? Down to the lake? Why would they do that? I don't know. Or, oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe a deer happened to wander by and they just, they got distracted. Who knows? Anyway. Yeah, I think we will... And we'll, we'll take our good fortune. Head back to Camp HQ. Rest up, because we... Astrid did not get a full sleep. I'm trying to get her on a slightly better sleep schedule after keeping her out all night last night. Cooking and making water and whatnot. Now, with that in mind, we have, we have, no, we, we, yeah, we, we can do, like, the, uh, the arrow making here. We don't have to do that at Spence's. But what we can do. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll grab, bright, eat one, probably take one with us. Because we'll be going there with the hammer. What I'd like to do, if, if, okay, if I did not leave a hammer at Spence's and just forget to make note of it. I think we'll just leave this, the hammer we have on us now, we'll leave that there. You know, by the forge, where it should be. And then we'll just make the arrowheads there and then conditions allowing, turn right the heck around, come back here. We'll make our extra arrows. Uh, or, or, well, no. Heck. Did I bring feather? No, yeah, the feathers might be at the dam. Okay. No, the feathers are on us. Okay. Okay, if the feathers are on us, that's perfect. Yeah, because we have three scrap metal. That's six arrowheads. And we, I think... We, we brought a couple of birch with us, so that's that's. We we just need two, because it's three per birch. So that's that's uh, if we can find two feathers, we might be able to make six arrows, and we won't have that extra arrowhead just floating about. But yeah, we'll we'll do some weight management in the morning. We'll heat up. Yeah, we'll start a fire. We'll heat some, uh, excuse me, we'll heat some teas. And then they won't, they won't take us as far as they probably, as they would need to, because 
We do not have the thermal flask. But at the very least, we can uh, we'll, we'll cut weight, make some teas. The, the, we'll keep the two hot for it'll get us a, a ways there. It'll at least get us out of out of Mystery Lake. Have uh, you ever seen the snow shelter trick at Spence's for? So are, are people making snow shelters like next to the forge? Is that what's happening? I don't know that I've seen that, but if that's what they're doing, it does it does make a kind of sense. Let me grab some cattails while we're in the musk egg too. Okay. Um. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, and we can. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go for a full, a full nine. Near the workbench, you can craft. Oh, you, you can craft from the snow shelter. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that. But yeah, it, it does. Now that you now that you mentioned it, it does certainly make sense. And yeah, I, I, I actually that is very handy because like, mo I think usually the the warmth from the forge doesn't travel enough to uh, you to uh, the workbench. Even if you 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 approach it from the side and you're so it's, instead of being right in front of it, you're off like a uh, forty-five degree angle to the right, and your your butt is facing the forge. Yeah, now, I guess you, you you still need like the the, the fifteen fifty yeah fifteen sticks, five cloth. But if if you absolutely positively must craft at Spence's, like if you let's say you have cabin fever or whatnot, that that would be one way to do it. Okay, those are cured. Those are cured. Those are curing, as is that. Never, you, oh, never used it, seen it done. It was was one of those. Okay, yeah, no, no, go. It make a lot of sense. As if you're, if you're one, one of those absolutely, the one of those wild childs who, you know, who they do, uh, out, you know, out or no goa, but no, uh, no indoors for you at all. Okay, so we... Actually, yeah, we'll... we'll, we'll yeah, it feels wasteful to use a match just to heat up coffee. But, you know, this this is this is where we are. Yeah, we'll... Okay, we'll... we'll, we'll or we'll make a fresh... We'll, we'll make a couple fresh ones, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Come on, little fire. Although now that I think of it, in addition to that, we can just we can drop the uh, drop our teas here. Perfect. And then we can make sure everything is warm, so we don't have to filter through our inventory just to find. The right one. Okay, you, please for to make me a cup of coffee. Oh, here. Just 
and drop those there. Place and jiggle, 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 place and jiggle. Lovely. Okay. Oh, right. I did say we were going to do some inventory management as well. Uh, we'll keep the torches. Um, don't need the can opener. Don't need the hacksaw. Pry bar? No. Flares? Yes, just in case. Scrap metal? Yes. Uh, we will, we'll eat... We'll eat one ptarmigan pie. We'll carry another. Um, yeah, we'll, we can leave that. It's, it's only a quarter of a kilogram, but still. Okay, we'll, we'll keep the meds. We got the bandages. We got all that. Okay. Nothing burning. Nothing burning. Good. And that's got 45 minutes on it. You know what? As we'll... Yeah, use the fire. Just just a, just a half liter. No need to push it. So we are... Yeah, right now we're under. And then... When we get the... Uh, get that ptarmigan pie in us, we'll be, we'll be very under. Oh, you know what I should do? Probably should have checked to make sure it was traveling weather. Sure. Actually, yeah, if, if we're, yeah, if we're just going, yeah, if we're just going to the forge, let's leave that, um, do I leave a can somewhere around here? Yes, okay. We'll grab that just in case. So we got pot and can, we do. Grab. Grab, grab, grab. Okay, let's go. There we go. Yeah, it's... Okay, we're... Between the uh, the warming up bonus and the and the torch, we were, we're just at the verge of uh, only two down arrows. Which... Not saying all that much, but you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's Loper. You take what you can get. Now, memory serves there. Yep. Okay, now where, where is that going? Oh, it's going for the deer. No, yes, no. Make up your mind, deer. And by deer, I mean wolf. Why? Why would you not go to the, uh, to the bow? That's weird. Alright, well... That was a waste of time. Anyway. 
Also, first time in the you know, since we moved to the Loper Run, we've seen a wolf take the uh, take the semicircle route. The ones who have come at us have come in a straight line, which we appreciate. And we've yet to see any of them do the uh, the Tokyo Drift maneuver either. Okay, might need to top up our warming up when we get into the muskeg. That's why that's, that's what that's why that's why we warmed up every single one of our drinks. It's kind of what they're doing. They, uh, you know, rather than come straight on or do that big semicircle, they just they come in and they they, they just they deflect their run ever so slightly to where if if you're expecting them to come straight at you you know they will it'll you'll miss your shot and then you know they'll jump you Wolves running a trip. Well, they. I think so. As far as I know, they they. Uh, I mean, I was gonna say I've only seen them do it in that one save file. But then again, how many save files have we played recently? And the answer would be not that many. But I think I, I think other people have made mention of. The wolves taking some curious pathing. So it's not just me, as far as I know. What do you back? I mean, yes, Zert, usually, but not always. I, I've been, I have seen them still take that strange pathing, even when you you take that uh that that, that precaution. But that, that that is a good shout. Okay, we'll go ahead and top this up now. But we do need to be careful because not only are the wolves, neighborhood wolves, possibly going to be drawn by our ptarmigan pie, but uh, Kool-Aid Bear is also in the neighborhood. Even knew that's so the, the they're come a little off center. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. Just making sure we actually click on the torch rather than trying to light the replacement afresh. Okay, good. Now, let's see what we can do about making our way across the ice, perhaps even on our first try, which would be a fairly novel thing, given how, how much I've, uh, I've struggled in the muskeg at times. We are, yeah, we are, we're, we're losing temperature, but not, maybe not as fast as we could be. But yeah, but by the time this buff wears off, all of our drinks will be cold. So however far we get on this, we're going to, we will need to hustle up once it rolls off. Right, yeah, train cars behind us. 
I, I sometimes have to remind myself, because like, if you look straight on, you see that, that kind of brownish color behind that tree? If you're not paying too close of attention, it can look like that's the train cars. And you, you've got yourself turned around. But of course, this is not the case. But as long as you keep the keep the the big red train cars, keep your butt pointing at them, you will at least be generally moving in the right direction. Now that's easier said than done, especially once you get far enough out onto the muskeg that you can no longer see that far behind you. A loose guideline, better than none at all. Did I say I hate being told? Because I really do. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, Astrid. Is that? Oh, wow. It's uh, clipped into the tree. Nope. No... No worries about littering there, I suppose. Okay, so we got some, we got some uh, caloric value to get us through the forge. How many do we have? 26. Okay. Not a ton, but perhaps enough. Now, can we get up there? Yeah, I think this... Yeah, this is how we get up there. Oh, wait. Have we... Have we not been here? Huh, how about that? Scrap metal, sure. Firewood, lovely. Archery book, yes. A book, dog food, and lantern fuel? We're rich! Okay, I'm going to leave some. We'll, we'll leave some cattails for, for future Astrid. Yeah, yeah, sir, that, that was that was a remarkably good find. And I, I'm surprised we didn't pay, uh, visit it previously, but... Yeah the, yeah, the lantern fuel, eh, but the food, and most importantly, the archery book... Because we are, we are ever so close to... I say ever so close. We're probably about like 40% of the way to Archery 5. So, you know, the sooner we get there, the sooner we get the second best superpower in the game and be able to shoot while crouched. The first, of course, being Cooking 5. Which makes your gut invincible to well, just about everything. Loves go for deer, hunting. yeah, deer hunting and ptarmigan hunting. Like you, you can. Now I think, I think I saw in a one of the patch notes recently that they hinterland did, I think, make the ptarmigans a little more self-aware. Like previously, I think in. Uh, I think Ruach clipped the, the moment where I was crouched while ptarmigan hunting, and I had a ptarmigan literally walk right up to Astrid. Like, within arm's length. Okay, see, here we go. Yeah, the, the wolves have scented the pie. Oh, 
Okay, well, at least one of them has. The other one, I don't know what it's up to. Oh, hey, Ruak, good to see you. We were just talking about you. If only Asker could hand hunt the snow chickens. It's just wrestle them to the ground? Yeah. I mean, it saves it saves some time and effort. I don't know about the uh, what kind of animations that would take though. Okay, why would you run that way? That's just rude. Well, here. Let me just solve this problem for everyone. Oh, that, that's why you unlurked. Okay, well, appreciate that, Ruek. Now we're doing alright. Just, uh, trying to reframe... Trying to get myself back into a, a loper mindset instead of the, uh, <laughs> the, the non-loper mindset that, you know, still carried over into yesterday's stream and almost proved costly. But beyond, beyond gameplay stuff, I'm doing okay. I had to work today, but I get I get a Monday off in in exchange, so not too bad. Nope, that's a, that's a. Okay, oh, there you are. Fine, just, just come on, come on. I got things to do. Go away. And of course, it runs off in the direction I'm going because wh where else would it go? You should take Monday off your. You're on weeding, you need a lot of sleep. Oh no, is there a lot of lot of weeding to do? Is it, uh, you know, I guess late February, is it time for planting? Are you gardening or just kind of taking care of the, uh, of the lawn? If you even have a lawn to take care of. Oh, you're at a, oh, you're at a wedding. Okay, okay. That, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's good that you're that dedicated to your garden. But uh, that uh, the weeding was t costing you sleep. But wait, okay. So you're at a wedding, and you need okay. That is. Uh, okay, now, now I am I am picking up what you are putting down. Grab a little more firewood before we head in. And it's high noon, which is lovely. Let's see, what did we leave ourselves? Some clothing, a little coal, plenty of water. Nothing in there. Anything in here? A heavy hammer. And scrap metal. Okay. Actually, we, we, can, we can save... Actually, that's good, though. We can save that scrap metal for fixing the tower later. Can we place that? Let's just get this going. So you don't remember which vote, which was need to be double all the same. Okay, that's fine. No, yeah, we, we, we got there in the end, Ruak. Come on, little fire. Okay, there we go. Now we do need to stoke this. We 
we need we need 150. Okay, well, that's gonna be a bit. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what we can do. Let me just go ahead and eat that can of dog food right now. No sense lugging that about. Okay, so okay, which, well, I guess we're I guess we're going back with this hammer. But it, okay, as as this goes up, because it'll keep going up. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with this now. Where'd that go? Okay, metal this stuffs. And water, okay. There. Uh so yeah. Oh! Only oh, only women cast a garner in Poland. Really? Did not know that. Okay, um, Do that. Did I leave any? Uh... Nope, we did that. Go ahead and do that. We'll let that keep getting hotter. They're already up to nine and a half hours. We might need to let that burn down a bit to create more uh, more burn time to add the coal Cause like if we were to just pump on a bunch of coal right now i don't yeah we wouldn't actually get the benefit or the full benefit anyway i think that the fire i think it's like 11 or 11 and a half hours is like the maximum you can keep a fire burning Okay, this is what we got right now, nine and a half, and we're, we're at, that's a, that is a very nice temperature. But we need, yeah, we need another 80 degrees, so that's, uh, okay, if I remember correctly, coal gives 20 degrees of temperature per. So we need four, and I think it's like an hour and a half of fire each, so... We need, we need this to be a five hour fire. So really. Okay, here's what we can do. While we wait for that, how's our, okay. Yeah, the bow is okay. We got 170% arrow, the rest should be fine. As we do that, I'm going to satisfy my curiosity. I want to go see... We'll go ahead and check on the uh, prepper cache up here at the top of the hill. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get, we'll get the, those sticks on the way down. Now, it's Loper, so nothing's going to be in there. Unless it's like the one in nine chance that... We get the one that has the uh, prepper's pie recipe in it. Okay, take a nice wide berth. No going over blind hills. There's prop deer. There we are. All right, we're just going to have to do this. There we go. As it should be. 
We'll come back for you later. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, I am... Honestly, I'm probably far too cavalier with my uh, my approach to wolves on on Loper. It, it 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 will it will come back to destroy me eventually. Until then, though, we might as well have some fun. Okay, we'll pop in here real quick. What we'll probably do is. Check the uh, yeah. We'll, we'll grab the grab the meat off of them on the way back down. Hey, Stewie, good to see you. How's things? How's your Sunday? Uh, yeah, I guess we have been here. Yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing other than a bed, of course, and maybe some some stuff we can break down if we absolutely need to. But we don't, so we won't. Instead, we'll go ahead, we'll pass a little time here to warm up. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we come out. Yeah, there, there won't be much of the deer, but we will have a full, well, well at least three kilograms of wolf to harvest, so... We might have to start a fire, depending on how gnarly the weather is. Just woke up. That's a good way to start the day. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I do... Uh, yeah, it was a working Sunday for me, but... I get tomorrow off in exchange, so... It's not that big of an imposition. Okay. Well, we're warm. Probably not going to lose well-fed anytime soon. Okay. Okay. Not yeah. If we're, yeah, if we're out of the wind... It's only the one down arrow, which, as as we say, uh, on Loper is basically be warm. Oh, come on, come on! There you go. But no, I think we're okay. The wind's coming from this way, so actually, right here would be a perfect place for a, a wee fire. Now, yeah, we yeah, won't be able to reach there, but we at the very least... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we can grab the hides and guts, but we're going to... Okay, they fixed the bug where hides and guts wouldn't cure in the prepper cache, right? I... I feel like they did. Oh, oh, come, come on. Can't your land? Come on. There we go. That'll do. Okay, we only have six sticks. We, 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 we have coal back there. We can probably spare one piece. Come on, little fire. Probably. If I brought it with me. And I did. Okay, good. Okay, now can we reach the prop deer from here? Or will, will this be your... Nope, okay. Uh, the uh, the Hinterland hitbox is in our favor.
Okay. There we go. Oh, then you would also I, I didn't Yeah, I I left the pot back there, didn't I? I sure did. Okay, well. We're doing the old-fashioned kind of cooking then. Okay, that's fine. You've got 33 minutes. Come on, there we go. Thank you, hitbox. Okay, that, that's too long. Okay, and we'll just pop back here. One, two. Make sure we don't draw any unwanted attention. There we go. Now we're much more full. Oh, take that crow feather. Thank you. And we'll probably just see if we can do... Yeah, we'll do this by hand. Probably won't boil off by then. Almost certainly won't. There we go. Lovely. Actually, let's go. Let's go. We'll just do it again. Now, yeah, grab the feathers. There, there will be arrow making in our future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's quite reaching us. Actually, it's got. If that's got. All right, yeah, we'll just grab the whole thing. We'll, be, be, uh, we'll probably we'll, we'll walk this back with us. We'll have to be careful as we do so. Because we, we have visual confirmation that there are doggos in the neighborhood. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Morning, Will. How's things with you? You, uh... You drain on the American economy? You non-tax-paying foreigner, you? How you doing, Will? Okay, um, let's actually, oh wow, the, the weather is turning something fierce. I would, I would prefer cooking all this though, so let's, okay, 23, 24, good. You're actually in the middle of opening a new investment account for yourself. Okay. Well, what well, could be more American than that, right? 2020. 20, hmm, excuse me. There we go. That lines up nicely. We'll probably get a little cold, but that's okay. I can't feel my hands. I assure you, they're right there, Astrid. Okay, grab that. And that. And that's another... There we go. Yes, the, en the endless pursuit of mo' money, mo' money, mo' money. But glad to hear life's good, Will. Yeah, we're just um, just winding down today. Um, after an unusually productive yesterday, and uh, got the got the curry up and cooked. I started early today, 
So I will have not only all the cooking done, but all the dishes done before before the stream even started. So I am uh, I am very proud of myself. You usually there's a there's a big pot that is full of soapy dishwater waiting for me to stop neglecting it. You know, it needs time to soak, right? All dishes need time to soak. But no, to, today I was actually responsible. Okay, 35, 35. We could go get the hide. Let's go get the hide. I was right. Yes, Stewie. I uh, I have followed making peanut chicken with uh, another round of my usual curry recipe. It's a goddamn freezing. Is coming. So they had uh, said the uh, the usual curry mix plus. Uh, let's see what we put in there. Uh, green beans, peas, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and sugar snaps. And then I threw in, uh, Will might know what this is. Uh, if you ever heard of corn, Q-U-O-R-N, it's one of those, uh, one of those meat alternatives. And, uh, this one is, it's based off of, uh, was, uh, Mycoprotein, not microprotein, mycoprotein, as in, like, it's protein derived from mushrooms. Exactly, exactly, well, mushroom meat, and it, 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 it's, it's, it's pretty good, quite good actually. And not as uh, not as uh, ruinously expensive as uh, Beyond Meat or Impossible Meat are. And everything you just eat me, and that's fine. Yeah, you know, I mean you 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 do you you know you know your needs best. I just I'm trying to cut back. You know, whether for environmental or dietary or health purposes or whatever. You know, I just. I, I, I'm giving it a try, and as it, it and it's tasty. Now, not not all of them are. They're not they're not cost effective, or they don't because they don't need to replicate the taste of meat. At least for me, they they just need to be ta they, they, they need to be tasty on their own. Okay, we're just going to wander in here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Deer and wolf. We will make note of these. So, FM bunker. Four. Four guts. One deer. One wolf. Uh, yeah, I think I had pos impossible a while back, but it was just... So expensive. Whereas like we have a uh, we have a local brand called Omni Pork, right? I think it's just Omni. They make Omni Pork, but they make, they make like fish fillets and and other such. Be like the, the uh, and I think it's probably I think that, that that might just be like import prices. Oh, uh, X X E X. X E X E X E. Right, I meant to throw an X, X in there. Um, is that bugger all out there? Yes. I think it was an update. I think a, at least a year, maybe a two years ago. Um, so rather than the RNG uh, bunkers that they used to have, now there are there are nine bunkers in the world that are there every run. You know, no, no matter what. In in addition to the one that is in uh. The, uh, what we call the space castle. You know, the one that, that, that the, uh, close to the transition between Pleasant Valley and 
uh, Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah, okay, well, just, we'll give it 30 seconds, and we'll, we'll just try that again. There we go. And there's our pot. Okay. Also get down to five hours. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that up. Okay, shouldn't need that. I say shouldn't. Zero. Okay, XE. Yes. Um, yes, that that is one of the nine static bunkers in the game. That is in addition to uh, the, the space capsule that's right there when you're leaving Pleasant Valley and going into Timberwolf Mountain. Now, the, the way it works is if, if you're at a level below Loper, at the start of the run, it'll be determined that like, three of the nine will be absolutely stupidly laden with loot. The other six will be empty. And there's, there's one different variety for, for each one. There's a hunter cache, there's a food cache, and a generalist cache. If you're on Loper, they're all empty. Except for one that contains, at least what is, for my money, the best recipe in the game. But yeah, they're in the same place every run. It's just a question of uh, whether loot is in there. And I'll say, if you're playing below, uh, even if you're playing on Loper, you know, there might not be loot in there, but they're, uh, you know, they're a reliable indoor location where you can get out of the elements and sleep. They'll, they'll all have a mattress in there. So it, it, it's a good place to know where they are. Um, okay, let's do that real quick. But yeah, that the one you just like the one here in Forlorn Muskeg is just particularly convenient because it's just right up the hill. So, some of the other ones they t they take a lot more effort. Like the like they're they're up on hills, or they're in out of the way parts of the zone, or they're 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 in parts you wouldn't even think to go visit. Like you, they're they're off the beaten path, but yeah, but then they're they're all locations worth knowing, even the one in Ash Canyon. Okay, so let's. Okay, we're starting at 70 degrees. So I added two pieces of coal. So if, if my if my estimate is right, that should they should top out at 110 degrees. And when you make recipes, did you get more calories than what you add into it? Um Well each recipe has their own set now I'll say you if you like, the higher your cooking skill the more calories like, you, you get here let me, I'll show you so like cooking five you get plus 25 percent calories from any cooked food item so you will get like if you make porridge you'll get that buff if you cook a piece of venison you'll get that buff you know, that, that comes from your cooking skill not from the recipes themselves Okay, we got 109. All oh, right, maybe it's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It actually started at 69 degrees. So yes, 20, 20, uh, 20 degrees per. So we should. We need 150. So we need 41. So one of those. One of those. 
one of those. We'll say two. Oh, come on. One degree. Good grief. Are you seriously going to make me add another piece of coal for one heckin' degree? This, this is some nonsense. No, here, here's what we're going to do. Let's see, how, how much do we have? We have, okay, 11 pieces. Okay. If we need to, we can spare one. But if we're going to do that, let me at least make, oh, well, so I want to, we'll, we'll give Astrid a quick nap. And we'll also let that burn down a little bit. For, for, for no other reason than we'll just get maximum value from our coal. Call it eh, three hours. And we got plenty of wolf meat there, so the uh, caloric value need not concern us. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Okay, yeah, so we pop one more on there. Itch. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just under 10. There we go. Let me make sure we have we have the hammer. Yes. And we have our scrap metal. All right, we, we, we picked up Nash. Okay, how many how many arrowheads are we making? Actually, why, why don't we just go whole hog? Oh yeah, actually, I, I I know I have eight arrowheads worth. I just want to see: do I want to use them all, or do I want to, like just stow some for later? Because like, I don't. Do I want to blow through all of my birch saplings now and then make max make as many arrowheads as possible? Because I I have let's see, we have twenty three. Okay. I need to find one more feather if we're going to use all those arrowheads. We have a uh, yeah. We have one arrow that's about to break. Okay, here, here's what we do. We'll make all the arrow heads, but no, 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 no. The arrow heads carry over. Is the arrow shafts that's the issue? Okay, yeah. Screw it. We'll just make them all. I just I I'm, I'm tired of thinking. It's a quarter to midnight. Oh right. Uh no no no. Hang on. We will we will get maximum value. There we go. There we go. Yeah. For for some reason, yeah. You know, Astrid and Will can they can chug a whole container of maple syrup and they're perfectly fine. But they have a rose hip pie. All of a sudden they get a sugar rush. Go figure. Okay, one liter, two arrowheads. But again, it's like the like the yeah you know, like headache is probably one of the most ignorable afflictions in a game that's full of afflictions. No, 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 no don't do that. Just the water, please. Thank you. There we go. And we take. And we make. And we make. There. Actually, let me remember that, because I will forget it otherwise. Uh, 
There we go. Always nice to leave a little water for your future self. Okay, we can sleep, or we can have some more rose hip pie. Now, here's the thing: when we when we wander away, yeah, we are going to be instantly stupidly cold. Because again, it's it's the very start of the day. The sun hasn't had time to warm up the landscape, so. We should probably just hang out. Should let, let the world warm up, if nothing else. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll head back. Um, yeah, well, well, we had seven hours on the fire. So, we're... Yeah, we're good there. Is that... Um, is that workable? Okay, well, it's less crap. Still crap, but less crap. Here, let's let's get Aster some breakfast. There we go. We can probably leave. Yeah, we'll leave those for future Aster as well. Um, yes. Other thing we can do is do our little by snow. Astrid, my dear, must you? Okay, place and jiggle. 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 There we go. I am a, I'm a little fastidious about that because I have I have lost so many T's to neglecting to jiggle over the years, and it is uh, <laughs> frankly annoying. Okay, so we got those. Good. We have those. What am I going to do? Yeah, we got... Well, th there's no sense leaving the hammer here. Because we got that one there. We also have five scrap metal for the... Uh, for the tower, if and or when we choose to fix that. But we're going to need another wire and two more fuses. Assuming... Assuming they don't leave us any up top. So at the very, I think even on Loper, they give you a car battery because they're <laughs> as mean as Hinterland is at, at times. They're not, they're not so mean. They're going to make you drag in a car battery from Broken Railroad. If one even spawns. Okay, how... Torch, we got one, two, three, four, five, plus our mega torch. Yeah, we can't take five hours worth of torches. That, that, that is a... That is a level of ambition we can only... We can only leave to others. So, yeah, so uh, here, we'll, what we'll do, we'll... We'll take our warm drinks. We'll... We'll grab a couple torches, not not make ourselves too heavy. Go back to Mystery Lake. Let's oh, do I go? What do we leave at Trappers? Two rabbit, two guts, birch. Eh. We got all that and then some at Camp HQ. Okay. Conditions allowing, we go straight to Camp HQ. Probably just leave the hammer there. Nice central location, and then we can we can get started making arrows. Then when we're done there, go back through the ravine, stop by the cave, get the cured hides and guts. We got deer and rabbit curing there. Take all that back to Coastal Highway. Check in on our bear hide. Which should be cured by then. It only needed six days. 
then we fix the bedroll. We make another wolfskin coat. We fix up our existing animal hide clothing. And then uh, to the airfield. I don't know if that's a good plan, but it's a plan. Yeah, you can do better. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, come, come on, Astrid. There, thank you. Alright, that's acceptable. We, we start with like five hours on the fire, so we can afford to be picky with our torches. Okay, we got, we got carrying capacity to spare. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. Now that's a torch. That's less of a torch, but okay. Okay, how are we for water? Two and a half liters. Perfectly fine. Okay. We'll pop a rose hip pie. We'll drink a coffee. No, we'll grab, drink a coffee, grab a torch, then we go. There we go. Nice and energetic. Torches? Plenty. Right. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. No, no, we're fine. I'm going to say, no, the hides and guts, but no, they're, they're still curing. They wouldn't do us any good other than attracting a great deal of attention from the neighborhood doggos. Well, we'll just have to hope that I'm right, that that bug has been fixed, and so when we return, they'll be nice and cured and waiting for us. Okay, did we... Nope. Grab the coal. We did. Of course we did. Okay. Onward. Now, I'm trying to think. What... Are there any other intermediate steps we need to take before we're ready to tackle the airfield like the i mean the airfield is gnarly at the best of times but it's just a, a whole different beast on loper yeah the I and mean, the weather is already crap between the extended blizzards and the the regular fog and the electro fog and how long all they all last and then add into that interloper temperatures and is pro probably one of the most inhospitable zones in the game so if we're gonna go we need to have all of our clothing in tip-top shape and preferably our weaponry too so thinking of that we should probably also make a fresh bow because our current one is about 50 percent not in not in imminent danger of breaking but you know close enough to where it's more on the way out than on the way in Okay, 
Watching for the bear that likes to patrol this half of the zone. And the wolves, but I think we can take a moment. Okay. Gonna need to pop a second drink here soon. Oh, go away. No one likes you. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we, we, we have been fortunate that the, uh, the visibility here has been manageable. That's what, that's what I want to say. Good. Just, you know, manageable. Oh, that's already cold. That's already cold. Alright, well, they're all already cold. Well, bother. Well, just forget I said anything, then. Okay, well, going through the musk egg, I am, I, I, I think I am, I am seeing where, yeah, you could, even, you know, even if you're not on Stalker, you could, yeah, you could probably easily get the, uh, that, uh, Wolf Wrangler challenge done on, just on basic lower settings. Like, there's a... There are probably enough just regular spawning wolves out there where you could you could do was it 150 days I mean clearly again apparently like certain said someone did 136 now I'm trying to think where you find all those but they get between like broken railroad ash in you know, like here you got the gauntlet up in Ash Canyon. Yeah, I guess it, I can I, I can see how it would be done. You you would definitely be have to be moving at a pretty brisk pace. Because, I mean, especially if you're on Loper, you're uh, you know, you're not spawning with. Pretty much anything. Okay, there's the bear. Lovely. Always good to have eyes on Kool-Aid bear. But yeah, if you need, if you gotta like get your hammer, get your hacksaw, get your forging done, get your maple and your guts down, and your birch. That's what was it? Uh, see guts. Yeah, maple. Yeah, birch takes four. Guts take five. Maple takes six. So, bare minimum, that's six days of your fifty. And that's assuming you get everything you need and you get everything down day one. So, like that, that fifty days is probably closer to like, you know forty to forty three forty. But again, maybe there are aspects to the challenge I don't know about. I mean, there almost certainly are. I only heard about it today. Okay, so thinking back, is there any reason we would go to Trappers? Really? No. All that's there is, I think, a rabbit hide, a gut, a birch. Yeah, we got all that and then some at Camp HQ. So we are cold, but I think I would I would rather just press on. If, if things get too gnarly, 
we can stop and warm, you know, stop a, make a roadside fire, heat up a drink or two, pay attention to their temperature this time. So, oh, now I was thinking, you know, our, our lack of a thermal flask. I wonder if, Because I think if, if there's anywhere in Mr. Lake it would spawn, it would almost certainly be in the dam, right? So maybe it'd be worth taking a little time out and then just like it, giving the dam another once over. You know, in particular, the areas with all the desks and whatnot, because that's where. Uh, That would seem to be where that'd be most likely to spawn, but maybe that's what Hinterland wants us to think. When, and I guess that, that, that is assuming one even spawns in this zone in general. But maybe it doesn't. I only, I only know of one place where there is a, a, a reliable spawn. Now, other people who have been playing more of this update would be more familiar. And I think, yeah, I, th I think that a, uh, the airfield is one of them. So I guess, if nothing else, that's one more reason to head out that way. Although, again, the, the, the thermal flask is a nice to have. It's not a must have. Oh, yeah. Just occurs to me. One thing we de that is a must have out there, not just the, uh, the handheld device, but I think the uh, Unloper, the only guaranteed flare gun and flare shell, are in the control tower. And we were very fortunate to get RNG flare shells at the summit. And we, we, have, we have held them dear ever since. You know, just, just, despite using one to bring down a bear, we, did, we were able to recycle it. But as we can't, we can't expect to be able to do that in perpetuity. So... Even just another flare shell or two would be a, a good a good source of peace of mind. Okay, well yeah, we're here. We're at Camp HQ. We've we've only lost what forty percent of our health from the cold and the whatnot. That's eh, fine. Everything's fine. So fine, in fact, I'm going to go grab another stick. Or a couple of you, in fact. No, no, please don't. Okay, there we go. Now... So we'll grab grab our stuff. Okay, those are about half cured. They're about two and a half days. That's about third cured. Be another four days. Those are all cured. So we, we can we can fix our rabbit hide stuff now if we want to. I'll take those. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we are one feather short being able to use all of our arrowheads. Alright, let's 
not waste that. Do that. There we go. Oh, can we not? I guess we can't do these in bulk, can we? Oh, oh, heck. No, okay, we'll, we'll make these to warm up. If nothing else. Okay, and again. I think, no, we'll, we'll just start making arrows, but we, I don't, we don't have any tools here. All of our tools are at the, uh, they're at the dam. Let's double check. Okay, yeah, not there. Maybe we have two sets of simple tools at the dam. So all else fails, we can just go there, grab those, and then use them at the dam's workbench, making sure we don't inadvertently stand on a wire as we do so, and we get a surprise aurora. Okay, these, yeah, no, we're, yeah, we only down to the last tenth of a kilogram. There, there's nothing we can really do with that, except thicken stews, but we don't have, we don't have any stews to make, I don't think. Yeah, I guess we can grab these. No, actually, no, we don't need to. We have, we have multiples of those waiting back at the quonset. So we can leave those there for future use. And we, and we will be coming back th through here later. Because we need to go back to Coastal for the bear hide and the other materials back on the Quonset. And then we come back through here, follow the rail line to the far territory. Okay. So I will take the cured ones there. So halfway. Yeah... Yeah, we'll, we'll leave those. Okay, so we'll update that. We got two... We got a uh, wolf, two guts, and others. Okay, one, one wolf, two guts. Okay. Okay, uh, here, we'll grab that. Okay. Right. All right, onward. Now, I'm curious to see, when we made this trip, I guess... Yesterday in game, whatever. Yeah, when we came through here on our way to the Muskeg, the three wolves that were along the track were conspicuously absent, suspiciously so, one might even say. Well, there's one of them. So they, they do appear to have returned. Is it? Okay, it's negative 11. But the snow is all falling pretty much. Oh, hi. Give me just a second here, if you would, please. Uh, 
Okay, if our health was higher, I I would I would big ball it, but see as our like sixty percent that is e that is easily within killable range by a, a loper wolf if things go awry. So we're we're gonna let discretion be the better part of valor this time. In future, well, no promises. Okay, well, there's two. When first we came through here, there was one more, so... Need to be, uh... Be on our guard. At least for a little while longer. I uh, see today the cat was more out to explore. It was a little trip around the block, check out some bushes, tree. Nice. That is that is freaked out as yesterday. That's good to hear. Now, when when you, when you say outdoors, TX, like so, like do they. Is there like a, a fence or like a, some kind of enclosure? that the, the cat stays within, or does, does the cat just wander and then come back whenever it, whenever it deigns to? Oh, you walk with a leash. Okay. Okay, that, that makes more sense. As I, don't, I don't hear many stories of outdoor cats that, that don't end with, and that's why there are no more birds in the neighborhood. Okay. Um, yeah, going okay. We, 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 we did, we went back to the musk egg, and we forged up eight more arrowheads. Oh, hang on. I should check that, yeah, check the deer. If we can find one more feather, we can actually use... All those arrowheads. Trina, we have 23 feathers. I don't know if we grabbed all of them out of the dam, so... Okay, just a little bit of insurance. But yeah, we forged up. Uh, we, 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 uh, we brought a hammer with us. Turned out we didn't need to. We did, in fact, leave a hammer at Spence's, and I just... Neglected to mention it in my copious note-taking. Okay. No feathers. Well, boo. Not allowed to have them roam free. All the cars on the road nearby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Better have two than none. Yeah, 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 but okay. Me... Again, so th this is this is my memory of runs probably blending into each other. But my memory is that at some point I had a notion to, you know, I was gonna leave one hammer at Spence's, and then I think that hammer that was at that um or that was supposed to be at Trappers, I was I was gonna take that. To broken railroad, leave it at that forge. And then probably somewhere along the way, I just got distracted. Which never happens around here. I don't know why people would even think that. But yeah, so I think for now, I'll just, I'll just ditch this, uh, I'll ditch this hammer at Damn. I, I, we, we, okay, we could bring it back with us if we wanted to. And I guess yeah, we, we could we could stash it in stash it at the Riken. I 
I, was gonna say, I should check my notes and then make sure I didn't leave one at the right hand already. But <laughs> as we've seen, you know, sometimes sometimes the notes don't do what they're meant to do. And yeah, the cause I, I'm usually like when in runs, I'm actually wanting to keep going for any length of time. I'm usually pretty good about taking those kind of notes, but I guess I just our hammer distribution was just not not up to standard. But that's fine, it happens. So yeah, we're uh we're going to go into the dam, drop off the hammer. We are going to make arrows because we have we have the we don't we didn't have tools at Camp HQ. We do have some here, so speed up that process a bit. And if time and resources allow, maybe we could also check through the dam and then see if there's a say a, a thermal flask that happens to be waiting in one of the offices. It feels like that's probably where one of those things would be. All right, let's let's just get you inside, Astrid. You, you've lost enough condition for one day. There we go. And we do have we have a cured deer hide here, so we oh, but, but we don't have more guts. But we where we do have them is in the uh, in the ravine cave. So really what we what we could no no no. I said we, we could use those two guts we have on us to make a bow. But I would rather do that when we come back when, when we after we go back to coastal to get the the bear hide and then we will officially decamp and then go to the airfield. So I'd be okay with leaving those there for now. Okay. Yeah, one short still. Ah, well. Okay, we'll get the arrow shafts, we'll move the hammer back in here. Trade that can opener, just make the most of that. We will, okay, we got tools, lovely. I need to find time to read that. We are. If we, if we can get to Archery 5 without needing to, I guess, put in the work, as you yeah, have that extra wear and tear on our bow, that would be ideal. Also, did it just start blizzarding in the meantime? Or is that just regular wind? It's a blizzard. Good grief. Getting to be something of a habit here. And we can take that deer hide with us. All right. I, before I forget... Uh, Mystery Lake, Dam. There. 
just uh, make sure we don't leave any doubt. Okay, now real quick. Just make absolutely sure we do not put ourselves in the proximity of any any death spaghetti. Okay. right here a bit see if we can get more in before it's too dark to do so and we cannot well bother yeah bear, bear bed roll down to 63 percent it is it is starting to uh show its age so we really do have to uh get back and get that uh fixed Actually, where 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 are we repair wise? In terms of skill, uh, mending three and like eighty percent, archery, archery four and forty percent. Okay. Ever so close to fire starting five. So there's that. So what else can we do? Anything? Yeah, figured. No, we'll keep those on us. We're gonna we're gonna do more more arrow crafting on the morrow. We're up to eight plus plus okay nine. Good. Okay, sounds like the blizzard has blown over. Um, no, 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 it's too dark in here. We've established that. So no repairs, none of that. Um, none of our tools are low enough to be concerned with. Okay, let's just get Astrid, get some cal calories in her belly, and then we'll just have her sleep. And then she'll spend the early morning tomorrow making arrows. There we go. Okay. And no surprise, Aurora. Oh, well. Okay, oh, no, it's not not quite light up. And do we wake up to another blizzard? Sure did. Where are... Okay, we're 116 days in, and we've had 80, 84, 84 blizzards in 116 days. That is way over one every other day. It's in, in, that, in the uh, you know in the in the achievement stalker run. I thought we we had a frankly silly amount of blizzards. <laughs> Little did I know. Anyway. It's fine, though. We're indoors. Where nothing can possibly go wrong. Okay, 
Um, where are we at? There we go. Okay, more arrows. We'll keep doing them two at a time. Keeping a close watch on our uh, our hunger meter there. Last thing we need is to have is to lose well fed now. Yeah, we, we, because we are yeah we're, we're still one feather short. Okay, there we go. Done and done. Where does that leave us archery skill wise? Halfway basically. Okay, so those are coming with us. Those can stay. Those and that. So we have a, we have enough to uh, work with right now. Okay, do we do we need to be carrying around a hacksaw? Because we're gonna be coming back this way. I'm gonna say no. Snow is the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. But it would, so you won't. So shush. Yeah, you want those. Do we even need that? Not particularly. We don't we don't have a lot of canned goods going around. Right maybe? Uh, okay, those are all fine. That's all fine. We'll we'll read that eventually. Okay, so yeah, let me we'll, we'll pick that up. Check the conditions. If we're okay, we go to the ravine. It's okay-ish. Well, as okay as it's gonna get, most likely. Um. No. Yeah, we can just we can leave those here. Pop those in there. Yeah, because we want to we want to leave the repairing of our animal hide clothing as late as possible, so we can delay the, any uh we we can delay that wear and tear. Have we been to Bleak? I don't think so. Now, when we get the... Excuse me. When we get the... The handheld. When, when we go to the airfield and we start um, signal void, that is going to make us go to Bleak Inlet. So, we'll just save that for then. We're... You know, I think, as uh, as Stewie said yesterday, we're we're gonna Marie Kondo, Bleak Inland. We are we are going to keep only what sparks joy, and the rest can go in the bin. Because honestly, you. Know, the dealing with the Timbies below Loper is a pain at the best of times. But Loper Timbies? Uh, no thanks. Because like the, <laughs> I mean, as we've seen, the frequency of blizzards in this run is such that um, 
you know, it, it's pretty notable notable if we go you know two days in a row without a blizzard. Let's give that joy. Yeah. So what we'll, what we'll most almost certainly end up doing is I'll make sure to fix the uh, the tower early in the day. And then we will go straight to Bleak, because I, 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 I have done, I have done Signal Void, I have done Buried Echoes. I know where the stuff is, but if I can uh, get there during the day, before the scripted Aurora kicks in, we can set ourselves in position, find a, 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 a conveniently located cave or a little hideaway. So when it does happen, we can just go straight there, do the thing, take shelter, and then leave the next the next day. Again, conditions allow it. Yes, yes. Behold what past Astrid hath wrought. We got yeah, a couple more. No, yeah, we, we did say we're going to leave the uh, animal hide repairs until later. So that way we'll be going into the airfield with our, our gear at as high a condition as we can get. Now, yeah, we got rabbit skin, rabbit skin, deer skin, deer skin. So that's at least, assuming no failed repairs, two deer, two rabbit, four gut. And that's in addition to the four wolf highs and four guts, we, we're going to need to make the new wolf coat and the, well, the bear hide and the cloth will need to repair the bedroll. Let's see, how are these doing? They are all cured. Hooray. Yeah, those are the new ones. These have been here a while. Okay, yeah, we're and we are actually we're, we're one we're in the ravine. We don't need to have the bow out. Even on Loper. There we go. Okay. It is about it's about tea time. Now, if you can find some more birds that's lying on the ground, that would be most handy. It's like, there aren't many things in the long dark where it's impossible to have too much of them, but, uh, Birch Park's one of them. Yeah, even just... There we go. Just one. So we can get back to having an even number. Right. Well... No. And if, if that's all we get, all right. We just we can uh, take the two, prepare them, and then we don't have to uh, worry about the game trying to sneakily get us to use birch bark as tinder. One of the among the meanest things the game can do. You know all the all the wondrous things birch bark can do for you in tea form, and you just up and burn it. No. <sighs> Go. Poop.
Okay, if we're here, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get over the trestle bridge. Okay, can we get to, can we get to the Quonset by nightfall? Or, 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 do we just go straight to the trailer with the bear hide in it? I feel like that might be the play. Because there's also a ton of, uh, yeah, they, they, there's a whole bear's worth of guts in there. I think you get, what, 10 out of that? Yeah, you get, you get, I think it's like 10 guts out of the bear, maybe 12 out of the moose. So that, that's a lot of repair materials. Well, we need to fire, you need to fire, regardless, you, you just want to win the first option. I mean, true, but. Oh, right, yeah, because it, it sorts it by, al it sorts it alphabetically, doesn't it? And there's, there's no Tinder sources that start with A. Unfortunately. Yeah, and I guess if you are at fire starting three, again the game the game just defaults to not using tinder, which is is it's better, but I don't know. Just need to call it Z Verge Park, or you just call it like a a, a tinder plug. A newspaper, you know. But anyway, yeah, it's, but it's it's what one of the many things where you if, if you're playing the long dark, you can potentially pay the price if you mentally switch off and go on go to autopilot. Although, unlike other things. We are fortunate that uh, Birch Park is a renewable resource. So, unlike, say, if you har harvest a tool or a piece of clothing accidentally, you know, there's, there's uh, no way back from that. But you accidentally use Birch Park as kindling, well, you'll, I mean, you'll lose that one, but... There should be more along to take its place eventually. Although, if Hinterland ever adds another another use or another like recipe type use for birch bark then it gets interesting it's like uh like you know tinder versus tea i mean there there's no choice there but say use it in a recipe or another crafting like, like a food recipe another crafting recipe then it starts to make you think you know that then you have the interesting choices hinterland says they want to give us yeah. it's fine tx we are uh, we are now in coastal I know, I know some people are more comfortable going over that, that bridge trestle than others, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't believe them when they say that hitbox is bigger than you think. And I know, I know, uh, you know, Prof Nels has, has had party will stem sprinting back and forth across it with no no ill effects apparently but it's just a, that uh, that is not how we roll yeah that bridge yeah TX I am not I am not the biggest fan of it either 
for much the same reason. Same reason the uh, the swinging rope bridges are uh, not a favorite of mine. Party troop will be planting ourselves in a fishing hut and moving as little as possible. But maybe we'll, we'll use a stim anyway, just to get all the pretty colors. Okay, uh, just popping in here right quick to let Astrid thaw out. Not a fan of those either, TX? Understandable. Okay. Onward. The sun is starting to get low in the sky, but if we... If we move with a purpose, I think we can, we can, we can get, maybe get to the town by nightfall. Is that, oh, no, no, that's, uh, who is it? Oh, oh, right, yeah. I think that was, uh, yeah, we, we pulled up some burdock there. And I said, there's, there's no oak tree there. Why would there be the, uh, the acorn digging? No, that was, uh, no, almost certainly a burdock. Okay, gently. Gently. Thank you. Okay. So we should. Let's see. Yeah, if we stay on this road, we'll end up at that trailer that's by the the the, the steep slope that goes up to the coal mine. But and, and then that road should take us. You know, we'll go past the cabins where the rabbits like to hang out, and they, then yeah. And then on that road at the far side, we'll get to where our our bear cache is. Uh, you don't roam as cold to mitigate cold. Death. I no, I don't. Um, well, okay, for, for a couple reasons. One, as as as, as I've been saying, this is Loper. We're, we're going to be cold all the time. The question is just how much, and then. You know, how much are you willing to deal with? The second reason is that I am wary of, like, charging around. And, like, see, the hills like these, like, you know, bl the, going over blind hills or ridges, I am, I, I am paranoid about doing that and then running face first into a wolf or a bear. Not that I've ever done that before. Despite what the, uh, many VODs on my YouTube channel would have you, have you believe. But, so, it, 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 it is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a risk tolerance thing. Are you, are you more willing to put up with cold damage and the, and the potential, like the, because it, 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 it is, it is he heavy damage, like, you know, 20% HP loss per in-game hour when you're, when you're, temperature meter is empty then you have to weigh that against the potential damage the you know getting 
well, even if, even if not like you know fighting a bear or a moose or a wolf, but like say you just go go over a blind ridge and there's no actual there's less ground there than you think, and you you take a tumble and you sprain an ankle or a wrist or both and damage your clothing and and lose health because of the fall. Now, if, if, if you know all the maps well enough, that's not an issue. But otherwise, if you, you're, you're taking on that little, that extra risk. And, and some people are okay with that. And that's cool. And some people aren't. That's also cool. It's all, you know, how, how do you, you know, how, how you approach the game is okay as long, as long as it, 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 it fits your play style like like we always say here the only wrong way to play the long dark is to not play the long dark so if if you want to run between buildings to avoid cold damage go for it if you're okay with tanking a little cold damage here and there or even more than a little and progressing more methodically that's cool too Because again, I mean, just as it's as true as the, in the game in general, but more so on Loper, you know, what what risk are you willing to tolerate? Or, or, or as TX says, how do you want to die? Because you almost certainly will. Yeah, for me, as, uh, for me, I am, I am a very slow player. I don't, I, I, I was, I was almost slow, to the point of paranoia. I, 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 normally am pretty risk averse, so. I was, I know, like, in, like it's like a, like a devil, the devil you know thing. I know the cold. I know how to handle the cold. I know that if if they get if a blizzard was to show up out of the blue right now, I would know. See, I can I can run to that those cabins over there, or I can just find a find a convenient hillside, start a fire, and try to ride it out. I feel like I can manage that risk better than the risk that would be introduced by sprinting everywhere because that, that's in addition to potentially charging into a wolf bear moose it's also more calorie burn and say if you're in a position where your food stores are a little low maybe you don't want to do that maybe you can't afford to do that Okay, yes, hello, bun buns. Right. Yeah, so the there's the 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 rabbit grove is here. Further up on the left, we'll find that ridge where we uh, it took down the bear initially. And then proceeded to have a a wolf come over the ridge on unseen by us and then take a big old chunk out of Astrid because she was uh, holding coastal fish cakes at the time and I didn't know those stank too. Is that a... Uh... Yeah, that's a doggo right there. Gimme. Point of the food board. Yeah, and it's it's, but it, it, it's it's uh, yeah, everything's a gamble. And that that gamble is again part of the uh, part of the interesting choices that Hinterland wants to offer us. 
Where? There you are. I'm trying to hide behind that rock. No, no, sorry, Bobski. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Azure, priorities. We'll just let that one be. Now, see, and, and speaking of risk tolerance, this is this is uh, this is me possibly making some poor risk tolerance choices. Because normally, when you see people who are good at interloper, they're walking around with torches or flares. You know, they're they're keeping that two degree warmth bonus and. If they do encounter wolves, wolves that can end you in a single attack, even if you're at full health, they they do the torch trick. Maybe they take the shot. They, they take that shot anyway, or they just chase them off. You know the the low, the lower risk approach to conflict, and probably the the uh, excuse me the more intelligent one. Whereas my, I think the the habits I've developed playing on other difficulties are <laughs> unfortunately carrying over, and I am uh, I'm walking around with a bow and arrow out. Are we? Oh wait, is this go? Okay, yeah, this is going up to the uh, yeah to the uh, the lookout tower. We no, I no, I wanna I wanna get us down to the town. But yes, I'm, I'm walking around with a bow and arrow out, and I'm I'm taking like the like the risk you saw with the wolf. Now I got away with it because, the, be, thanks to my uh, particular playstyle, I have become somewhat skilled at using the bow at melee range. I don't now for the record I don't recommend that. Because if at some point you happen to miss, because either you double clutched or you know the wolf took some strange pathing to you on interloper, that is a good way to lose your run. But I'm stubborn, and also it's just it's, it's the uh, ending of the doggos is kind of fun, and and yes, TX we have, we have got quite used to being stalked. One might, one might almost say I was uh, desensitized. So after, after dispensing with, what was it, 556 wolves and counting, on the other run. This is the uh, the the bark and the the music change, and it's supposed to be ooh, it's supposed to be scary and nerve wracking, and I'm just like yeah, again. But see, that that kind of complacency is where things could go horribly wrong. Okay, you are. Hey, it's cured. Nice. Okay, perfect. You know, we had good reason to come here then. And actually, that the day is old enough to where we could. Yeah, we could probably just set up shop here for the night and then on the morrow we grab the bear hide we grab the guts take them down to the quonset how are we for water we're eh, we're okay But first, we need to make sure Astrid it's her dinden. Gotta warm up somehow. That's a small one. There we go. Oh yeah, I also noticed that the uh, there was I don't know if you call it a uh, I guess a bug or whatnot. Um, there was an issue a while back where. Uh, 
meat that got cooked wasn't actually getting the uh, the calorie buff you get for having cooking five. But I think that that uh, bear steak right there, it was uh, it, it's like it's like 900 base calories, but we got 1,100 calories off of it. So I think I I think that issue has been dealt with. I can't say for sure, but I feel like that's the case. Oh right, hang on, hang on. One to save water, but two we can get the get a little bit more region going. Let's go ahead and take a uh, take a birch bark tea here. There we go. Anything else we want to do real quick, like? I suppose. You know, if nothing else, one more successful repair gets us that much closer to mending four, and then we we reduce our chances of wasting animal hides and guts on repairs, especially the bear the bear hide. So we should probably fix the uh, the deer and the rabbit stuff first. Okay, but at least it didn't it didn't cost us the cloth. So that was nice of the game, I suppose. So yeah, grab that. Go back down there. Fix the bed well well no well again, deer, rabbit. Fix bed, yeah. Fix bedroll. Maybe even like fix some of the the uh, backup clothing we have. Just see if we can nudge ourselves over into uh, into mending four, and then finish out by uh, making the new yeah make the new wolfskin coat. Cause right now we have, right now we have uh, we've got. Wolfskin and then a Mackinaw. And the Mackinaw is fine. But it's like a whole degree less. And it'll it'll cost us an extra 12% of our sprint bar. But I feel like double Wolfskin might be the play versus... Just going super hard and then trying to get out the because uh, we'll, we would need another bear hide to make the bear skin coat, and that would nuke our sprint meter even more. Oh, what you don't like about the bed rolls? They lose condition so fast. I mean that that's fair, and that that is that it, you know that is one of the trade offs with the bear skin bed roll in addition to the uh, well needing a, a bear hide to fix it and the extra weight, but that warmth though. But yeah, it, it, it is very much a trade-off. And I'll say, like, in my other run, I've got the uh, the improvised down bedroll, the uh, the ptarmigan bedroll. It seems like, it seems to be an okay kind of midpoint between the base bedroll and the bear bedroll. Okay. Uh, well, it is, yeah, 1 a.m. already. It feels like it has gone pretty quickly. But yeah, the, uh, yeah the, we'll, we'll, I think we'll... This is a good stopping point. Uh, we're we're back in coastal. We have a cured bear hide, and we have much repairing and clothing crafting ahead of us. But before we check out, as we always do, let's check the uh, check the journal real quick. So we have survived 117 days. Which is more 70 percent of the world. I can't I can't tell if that's high or low. Well, we haven't we haven't been to Black Rock. Now, we haven't been to Bleak, and we haven't been to the Far Territory, so that eh, sounds about right. And 
and yeah, it, 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 don't don't put too much weight on the uh, on the broken railroad there. For a good chunk of that time, we were stuck there with buttworms. Then it was a twenty day variety of buttworms. Let's see, we got so we're thirty six wolf kills, two bear, three deer, nineteen bun buns. Interesting, they they, they don't list the ptarmigans here. I wonder why. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, 117. I would say this is a, um, this is kind of a holdover. Before yesterday, uh, actually, I hadn't touched this, uh, hadn't touched this file since July. So that's why uh, a lot of the, uh, we're, we're, we don't have a lot of the new stuff that came in the December update. But we're, we're going to try to fix that along the way. Yeah, uh, uh, so thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Appreciate y'all being here. So, uh, yeah, TX, Vi, Xy, Stewie, Will, who was here earlier, and Zert and Ruek as well. Yeah, apologies, Ruek, for uh, goading you out of, out of your lurk. And Roller as well. So appreciate y'all. Thank you to everyone who hung out and chatted. And uh, thank you to all the people who were lurking as well. Uh, yeah, so. And we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back Thursday. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do Thursday, Friday. I, I will announce on the Discord. Uh, but I, th I, w I, I do want to do more Elden Ring because one, I am enjoying that. And two, I am also eager to finish Elden Ring so we can move on to Cyberpunk. But that'll be for, for future us to deal with. For now, we're going to round things out, as we always do, by finding someone to raid. So let me check the old list here. We got some Phasmo going on. We got some Enshrouded going on. Bash is playing the Outer Wilds. Nifty. Potato Kite Tycoon. Crying Dutch Girl. Um, I see Kimmy's still on. Seems kind of late for him. Let me check. Or alter, you know what? Let's. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm gonna go raid Waffle Mouse. Waffle's fantastic. She's doing her uh, librarian run where she has to collect all the books she can find and not and not burn any of them. Also doing so on Loper, by the way. So and she she is another high level player and she's just a cool person to hang out with in general. So yeah, we're gonna go raid Waffle Mouse. If you can, please stick around for the raid. Show her some love. And as I said, we'll be back Thursday with more of this nonsense and yeah if you want to know what kind of nonsense you know, just hop on the discord and you'll find that out soon enough so appreciate y'all have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time bye for now